this is Galashian here again, and today I'm in this beautiful open field watching snowmobiles go round and round and round. And it got me thinking, what a great day to explore the awesome power of motion. Are you ready? Let's go! You see, boys and girls, the word motion means to move. So what a better place to come than a big, wide open field where we can see snow falling, we can see snowmobiles going, and we're free to run around. That's three different ways we can observe motion. So snowmobiles are really cool machines because they use a few different kinds of forces to do their job. Let me show you. They use the force of pulling to get them started. And once they're started, they use the force of both push and pull to create motion to grab the snow and send us on our way. Another fun way to explore motion is tobogganing. In the field, we saw how the motion of pulling makes a snowmobile go around. On a hill, we see the motion of pushing makes our sleds go down. How fast do you go down your toboggan hill? Woo! Now thanks to gravity, you don't even need anybody to really push you down a sled hill. The smooth surface and the weight of your body will make that happen. But it doesn't hurt to have a little more fun and get a push from your friends. Here we go! Woo! <laughs> so fun! One of the best ways we can observe motion is through gravity. And wintertime is one of the best times to see that because of what you're seeing right now. Snow falling to the earth. Gravity is just like having a giant magnet and pulling something close to it. And that's what the Earth does with you, with me, with snow. Try this at home. Lay upside down on your couch and then have somebody jump up and down. It looks like the ground is pulling them really fast together. Gravity is so cool and it's what keeps our feet planted here on the Earth. And we wouldn't have the motion we know without gravity. Motion's so fun, and it's really everywhere we look, no matter where we look. So, your challenge for today, boys and girls, is to have a motion race with your family or whoever's in your house. Did you know that you have a superpower? That you can move objects without even touching them. It's true. Let me show you how. You can do it with the force of pushing. You might say, well, Mrs. Galashian, how can I push this if I can't touch it? Well, let me show you. Everybody has a superpower called their breath. <sighs> Do you remember the other day when we made sailboats and we wanted to test them and see if we could push them through the water? What did we do? We went and we pushed on the sails to make them go away. Well, your superpower is the same. You're going to take a rolled up ball of paper or a cotton ball or a pom-pom, whatever you have, put it on the floor, and then you can take a straw. Now if you don't have straws at home, don't worry, you can just roll up a piece of paper like a straw, tape it, and it'll work the same. And use your super power of force to push the ball away. Watch this. Isn't that cool? So grab your straws, grab a little ball, and maybe even get some tape to mark a start and a finish line, and challenge the people in your house to a superhero straw race. See you tomorrow, boys and girls. Bye!